I'd like to call to order the uh, Town of Woodstock Board of Village Trustees meeting of November 10th, 2019. I mean, what am I talking about, November 10th? December. It's December 10th. Well, I'm reading the agenda. Sorry, I just... I December 10th uh, at 7.02. I was going to say it. And uh, I'd like to start with citizens' comments, if there are any. On this very evening, I hear see no citizens' comments, so I'd like to move to additions and deletions from the post posted agenda. Um, we have one regarding uh, the uh, sidewalk fund, the Ethelwood sidewalk fund. Chris, are you here to talk to that? I can. I can address it, but I thought my pal Joe, Joe would be here. <coughs> well, would, you like me to, would you like me to hold this yeah. off to later in the... She's you know? arriving imminently. I'm well, then let's move along, and we'll come back to it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, request for permits. American Legion. Uh, parade permits for Memorial Day Parade and the Veterans Day Parade. Uh, I was approached by Susan Tomlett, um, who couldn't be here tonight. And there are no changes in there in these two parades. I make a motion to allow both of the parades to go on as presented. Second. Is there any further discussion on the parades? Uh, if not, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries for the permitting on those two parades. Uh, police Chief's report, Chief Bush. <laughs> Okay. But first, I want to apologize for the snafu with the deliveries. Apparently, there was shift change going on, and one officer left them in one cruiser, and the other second officer coming on board took a second cruiser. Didn't realize they hadn't been <coughs> delivered, so my apologies for that. Try to get <coughs> Why would you send them electronically? I was fine with getting the one that Beth right. sent along. Yeah, how do you read from your agenda no, when it's electronically like it done? It. How do you review well, it? Well, then print it if you want to do it. Well, if you don't want to print it, I mean, it's a ton of paper. Look at it. We put it in the recycling. All paper. right, so let's just have <coughs> electronic with it to Anna. And the rest of I'm us fine would with still that. like to have I'm printed. Okay. All right, are you fine? I would like Serena it printed. And Anna would like. I bet you Carrie's in the same, but I'm not going to really speak for yeah, her. I just don't speak for her. <laughs> and right. Carrie. That's fine. Carrie, Carrie, and Jeff are so, so far still taking theirs. Great. That's fine. Okay. Sorry. <coughs> no problem. Uh, so the turkey trot went well. I, I think some of you were probably there. We had some <coughs> reported issues. Walsall Parade's coming up this weekend. We'll have some no parking signs posted along River Street. Uh, we're trying to put out an extra um, sign package out by Taftsville to let folks know sooner than later that the, the, the uh, parades in progress. I know there's a sign out there now, but I think maybe a little larger sign if I can get it out right. there. What happened if it's raining? How's it what happens happens if it's raining? I don't think it have ever had a raining. We've had freezing cold ones. We've had. I, I think it goes on no matter what. We had a rainy one. No, no, no. I, I haven't been here for a hundred years. I'm saying in the past like eight years that my shop has been here, we've had. It's always gone off without a hitch. It's been cold, it's been snowy, it's been something, but it's never rained. Yeah, but it has. Rained. Okay. Uh, so we'll be stopping so traffic. There's no rain, it just goes off. On that note. All. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be stopping traffic at about 155, so everybody knows. So that allows traffic to get out of the parade route. Even though the parade actually starts at two, traffic gets stopped at about 150, 155. We participated in the Governor's Highway Safety Thanksgiving campaign. Uh, we'll be participating in the highways. That was over the, uh, obviously, the Thanksgiving holiday. We'll be participating in the Highway Safety Holiday DUI campaign from December 13th to January 1st. So we'll have extra officers out on patrol for that. During the November coffee with the chief and our Thanksgiving food drive, we collected about six bags of food. And I haven't received word yet as to what the weight was, but I appreciate everybody that came by and uh, donated to that. We're right now, speaking of that, collecting, we're collecting for Toys for Tots at the ESB lobby. Um, and we'll be doing that through probably the week just before Christmas, uh, the 22nd, I think. And then we're gonna be doing the Stuff the Cruiser event again this year during the Uwasa Parade. Meters, uh, revenue for 2019 outpaced revenues 
um, from 2018. It was $8,119 in 2018, and this year was $8,847. We're told the batteries, I mentioned we had a battery issue going on. Um, they're supposed to be sent out this week. We've been calling and emailing them every day to try to get that resolved. And they, they've agreed to do it under warranty? Oh, yes. Yeah. Everything we were talking about is under warranty, but apparently they, were, they came up with some reason, but they needed to revamp their, R, their RVP or something like that. But <laughs> I know. So, it was, so bottom line is we keep calling and mailing, emailing every day trying to get just so that the squeaky wheel. Yeah. So speaking of that, um, you weren't here last time, so you got volunteered for the parking I know, committee. I'm aware, yeah. So we should, I'd like to, I'll get with you, but probably after January 1st, we'll set up, uh, we'll set up a meeting with uh, Jennifer and myself and Michelle uh, Sutherland is going to be on. Okay. And we'll get the gathering, kind of maybe figure out what we want to do. What we want to do in terms of renewing meters or yeah. or not or yeah. what's the game plan to right. I think there's several other people that have some input too that I, I have, might yeah. meet, Bring them invite on. to that meeting. Absolutely. Well you you're just yes, you're supposed to put a committee together. Right. I have a committee that I have okay. put together. All right, cool. And I'm going to invite them. Yeah, I, I, I think the more Raymond, ideas we have the better. Mr. Farrow <coughs> part of that. Yes. 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 Okay. Terrific. So, so I'm after the first. After the first, I'll let, if you want me to set the date or throw out a few dates, I can email you or just yeah, kind of tell me do. when to do that. That would help expedite things, I think. I'll do that. Yes. Okay. Can I have an input? I've tried to use the meters twice in the last couple of weeks. They don't work. You sit, you go push, push, push to up the time and they, they don't work. Uh, some do and some don't, and that's exactly why we're addressing this. They suck. They were, they were <laughs> used meters, reconditioned, <laughs> when we purchased them. And we've done our best to maintain them, but that's why we're looking into yes. new meters or perhaps kiosks. The there's best minds in Woodstock will figure out a solution. There's pluses and minuses solution. to both <laughs> directions. <laughs> that's why I'm the head of the committee. <laughs> that's why right, you're a jury foreman. Oh, gosh. <laughs> So glad you <laughs> appointed me you, yes. to that. <laughs> no, that was a nice way. <laughs> I like the way you put it. All right, um, uh, Chief, continue. Sure. Uh, we're in the process of, of hiring a new officer. Uh, currently, the, the candidate is is non-certified. We started out with five candidates. We went on it down to one in the process. He has no experience, as I mentioned. He's not certified, but he does have experience in law enforcement in the corrections field. So that's a plus. So as soon as um, you know, if, if he finishes out the process and uh, everything comes together, we hope, then I'll, obviously I'll present it to the um, town manager and, and then you folks would be able to weigh in. That'd, that'd be great. This is a new Our new, because we're short, we're, we're down one full-time officer right now. Okay. So this is to replace that officer. And we're, you had we're, five we're to, we, we had five, right, and now we're down to the final. Was he the only one that wasn't certified? No, they were all non-certified. We didn't have any okay. certified applicants. Okay. We, were, we were trying to lure some certified applicants to come on board. Yeah. Um, but it's everybody's short right now, so there's a lot of competition out there, and we were just not able. And to this is the the brother of a current part-time officer. Is that true? I haven't made the notification yet. So I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Oh. Um, what else? We had five arrests last month, one DUI, two domestic assaults, one drug arrest, and one violation of conditions. So that's what we did for the month. Any questions? Um, I have a couple of questions. Um, so did the chamber approach you about closing parking on River Street? No, we do that every year. Do we well, we have it in the past, but it became an issue. What happens is people park on River Street, yeah. and if we, don't, if we don't put up the no parking signs that we have, they, they park along the, the River Street, and we need that as our detour. We use River Street as our detour, and if you can't get two-way traffic through there, then it becomes snarled and a big mess, and that's why we put no parking on River Street. And if we need to get an ambulance up River Street and it's narrow, forget about it. So just a question. So in the past, we've allowed parking on River Street. No. No? I thought we did. Never allowed it. But the problem is, since we never posted it with the no parking signs, 
as, we much, as much as we should have, then people park there. So now so we, we, so we, we, line line it, we line the whole streets with cones and we stick the no parking signs in the cones all the way out from one end to the other. Now, but now. we've allowed it in the past, right? Well, it wasn't explicitly. But by not marking it, we were allowing it. Correct. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. Yes. <laughs> <I suppose>. So <laughs> because we're doing that, we're in the need of posing parking, I mean, uh, but, uh, alternative parking. Let there, me ask right? you a question, though. Um, okay. Let's just to continue this. Since we uh, allowed it in the past, and you perceived it as a problem, with people parking on both sides of the street, right? There were both sides, but even if it's one side of the street, it becomes too narrow for two-way traffic. So, where, so what happened with that traffic when they were parking there? Oh, it was a, me it was a mess. I had, to have, I had to pull an officer off of one of the traffic posts to, to physically walk up River Street to unsnarl the traffic. So it's just it's a problem. And then if I understand, no, my I biggest concern problem, really is if I can't get an ambulance up through there, then I don't want that to happen. No, no, of course we don't want that to happen. But what if what if there was parking on just one side? You're saying even no, one side even creates one, a problem. Even one side, yeah, even one side, it's too narrow. So think about the sidewalk along River Street that is um, west of Mountain Avenue. And you think about that that sidewalk, and if you park cars in that lane. And two cars try to go that way, and it's one of them's wider than the other. There's no, they're going to go it's over the bank, pretty tight. or scrape, or hit a parked car, or I just see. Up a there's just a lot of issues. Okay, with it. so so could you estimate how many cars were, were parking there uh, last year? If they were. Oh, I, I have no idea. It wasn't last year or the year before. It was maybe two, maybe three years ago. Yeah. Does the billing so farm parking? We've been, we've been posting no parking on that for at least the last three. Years. Correct. Chief, I have a question for you. Is it possible this year that as an alternative, we can do angled head-in parking facing the green on the, I get on like the, not the, not the South Street side, but the other side. The north side of the green? Correct. Just so, because you can, instead of cars being parallel parked, you can maximize so many cars. We don't cars. allow any parking. There's no parking. The green. They're, they're there's in the no Wassel parking. Parade. There's, there's, no parking, parking there's no parking there. We, we don't park any cars around the green because most of your spectators are on, on the, the green, green, and those cars would there's block no their cars. view. Yeah. Um, so, does the Billings <coughs> Farm parking lot get completely filled in all of their overflow? Because that's I, quite a bit of parking. I don't know. They do. Um, they do, and I'm pretty sure they. I'm just wondering if there's a way to redirect people versus them going down River Street. I know River they're doing the shuttle buses from the high school. You could say have a sign that says no parking here, but continue on to the to Billings Farm, or give them another. It's option. private parking for Billings. I don't know what their take on on the Wassel Parade is. I don't know how they what what. We have nothing to do with the parking. All I do is make sure. On, on on those lots, we just make sure nobody parks. I think it's worth an street. ask. I mean, I, I, they're not busy, so yeah. might as well. Well, I know the chamber has arranged for parking at the high school, and they've got shuttle buses this year. Oh, okay, great. That's great. That's part of their plans to to alleviate the parking issue. Because they have shuttle buses are set up for the high school. I think they're going to do that. Well, I don't know how many people take bus, Maybe the shuttle bus can also go to Billings Farm. Yeah. Just saying. I don't know if Beth, Beth's obviously not here, but she would be the one that, that would coordinate that. Yeah, Beth is not here. Okay. I can maybe talk to Beth. Yeah. Don't you think that's a good idea, though? It's right there. <coughs> well, the yes. The farm is packed that weekend. They have their historical Christmas celebration. And sleigh rides. And, and sleigh rides. Yeah. 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 It, gets, it gets In packed no matter what. Yeah, the, right. The, the elementary school parking <coughs> lot is packed. Um, Even the, like, the golf. <laughs> It's just for there's short on parking. Well, I was just thinking a shuttle could yeah. go there yeah. as well. If there's a shuttle, it's not. It's just like that. It's closer. Quick. Closer, yeah. So. It's true. Anyway. Um, another question for you, Chief. An sure. uh, opinion. Going back uh, a ways, when the, when Pi existed, the, the business, when, before the fire took that away, there was and there still is a... My fault, Chief. Sure. <laughs> there was and there still is a handicapped parking space. Right? In front of Pi. In front of Pi, right? Yeah. And opposite the post office. And then last year, somewhat mysteriously, 
<laughs> a handicapped parking space also appeared in front of what's now that horse country shop. Mm -hmm. And um, do, you th do you think it would be a problem to reverse that? Um, either keep one or the other, but not both? They're <laughs> both close to each other, and they're only used to be one. Um, I, I don't know about the, the one in front of horse country, but to me it seems like that is a natural regular parking place. Or, yeah, or turn the one across the street into a regular parking place. That is, I, th I think either one is fine. Okay. But I, I leave it up to you folks to let me know which one you want to, to do. Yeah, I think we need to have that discussion. So. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen them empty, so obviously they're being utilized. Yeah. I don't know that I would take it away from people who need them. I, I've seen it abused. Well, right, so then yeah, call the police so and they can get ticketed. Well, <coughs> the, the question mark was the one in front of, the new one in front of the saddle shop. Right. I suppose if we were going to do away with one or the other, we should do away with the one that mysteriously appeared. Yes, I, I would And it's agree. not properly signed anyways versus right. the other one that is properly the signed and already in existence. Signed. That's right. I'm confused. How did it mysteriously We appear? don't know. <laughs> Is it the people who did the bridge? No. I, no, I'm not I sure think, where it came I think, you I did think mention we, something. How is it marked? Right? Yes, in a, in I, a way that it's, it was painted on, it's painted on. It came the from. It came from um, <laughs> your previous municipal manager, and I think it was because of there used to be a long time ago along the side of the building at the postal. Mm -hmm. It used to be a handicapped that spot. That's and why it no happened. And people complain that there's no handicap parking for the, the post oh, office. Mm -hmm. So then the maybe it should office. stay. The, the it was only replacing something that was already yeah, there. No dedicated handicap uh, parking. I think that we should not decide tonight, but I think it's something we should discuss and look into. And get more, pick out more public opinion. The parking committee could decide. Yes, put that on our list. We have you put a kiosk there. So many beautiful <laughs> minds on that committee. All right. Those are... <laughs> Those are all my questions. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Sally? I have a citizens' comments, but I have a question about um, the, and this was in the listserv last week, about the use of leaf blowers for snow removal. Um, in our neighborhood, we had somebody who started at 6 o'clock in the morning, and those are very loud. Is that a police issue? I mean, how does that get It's enforced? a noise. It is a, there's a it's noise, noise ordinance, and you're not, before 7 a.m., you're not right. supposed to run that type of equipment. Right. So if that's happening, yeah, if you would call us, okay. we can go tell them stop until 7. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yes. It's oh, happened more than once. And they live in Vermont? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, these are, these are actually... Um, they're kind of, a lot of the contractors I've noticed are using the uh, leaf blowers. When you get like a light powdery snow, just it's quicker easier. to blow it off yeah. than to shovel it. It's Apparently. much easier. Apparently. <laughs> but anyhow, so mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, just, it is 7 a.m. is okay. the, is yeah. the yeah, not before 7 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. You mentioned domestic oh, really? incidents in your report. Have you noticed an uptick in that this year, or is this, is it on par for... I think it's not. I think it's. I have not noticed an uptick. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's move on to um, the financial report. Do you want to do us first? <laughs> Would you like us to do you first? Wow. Well, that's, <laughs> that's fine with me. Sorry. I, I mean, I don't mean to be. I think it can be pushy, Chris. It's not like you, though. But. <laughs> Kidding. Um, all right, let's move on to uh, this addition uh, to the posted agenda regarding the Ethel Woods Sidewalk Fund. And uh, Jill Davies and Chris Lloyd would like to address us on this. So I'm a member of the Select Board and we're putting our budget together for next year. And part of that budget is to um, to increase the amount of money we put aside to improve our sidewalks and curbs because some of our curbs need um, uh, sorting out before the road is repaved uh, in 2021. So we've put more money in there and we're really looking for any other places that money might be. And so um, I've invite, I asked Chris about the Ethelwood Sidewalk Fund because that has some potential money for us. We have uh, <coughs> 
right now r roughly $58,620 or so. But there, there is accumulated income from its inception. Yes, it's been around a long time. And my feeling is, as trustee of village funds, is that this might be an opportunity to use at least the accumulated income from that, which is roughly, we about evidently, about 18,000. 18, and what are, what are the select <coughs> people? They don't oversee this, and, right? And what are the select people doing with your budget? What money are you putting into the new budget for this? Uh, we're looking at putting in several hundred thousand, uh, at least a hundred thousand. Like we've got 50 for the sidewalks and we've got some for curbs. And, and are you looking to do this after the, the, the or no, before? before? No, so we're looking to do two things. So the curbs need to be done before the road is laid. And we're trying to work out how we can get that done in a sensible, cost-effective way. Okay. So not every curb, but like the curbs on Elm Street, but uh, completely come off by the bridge. So they have to be reset. So we'd like to do that, and we'll put money aside for that. And then the idea on sidewalks is that we so we went out and we measured the sidewalks and we know how much improving every sidewalk, not the concrete ones, but the asphalt ones, right. would cost us. And our idea is to make sure that in the budget we have that amount of money, or one-tenth of that amount of money, and over a ten-year period we keep improving them. And then you start again, and you just keep going. But it would be, so it would be really helpful to have more funds than we can put <coughs> aside so that we can get the first year going <coughs> for this initial year because there's so much or <coughs> the more money we have the more we can do right so if thirty thousand dollars of that money was allocated if we allowed that is that helpful it would be eighteen thousand eighteen thousand no but he said at least well no i mean it's there it's earning money right now so by the time there's a request for it it might be 19,000 I don't know but could you delve further into it than the established number could you take it all well I, I mean, don't want to take it all I'm saying about half it, an argument could be made that an invasion of principle I guess I mean I guess that amount that original amount of 40,000 40, was decreed by the uh, probate court we uh, have to read the will more carefully right because it says for the care and upkeep of the sidewalks in said village yeah that seems to be pretty clear so it didn't say that it had to just sit there and, 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 and gather and, money so no that's right the intention of many funds is that you put in a lump sum and then it you earns. invest it and every year you get a percentage so if you invest it if you took the 58,000 down to 40 and then invested the 40 every year we'd throw off about 1500 maybe depending on the performance of the stock market we'd maybe throw off 1500 or 2000 a year and we could be taking that much money every right, year right which seems like a good direction to go if we uh, allocated the 18,000 just for this coming year and then it's never been drawn up continue to allocate uh, no it has but to remember it this is over Oh, okay. But it's been a while, obviously. Yeah. 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 So, so what is the number right, of... But with, you, you, you left it with $30,000 in it, it's still intact. Of doing, I think it's... The, I think our sidewalks need to get all. work done. Yeah, I don't, That's it, so you I plan in the next year. Let's just leave the principal alone. Tense. Attack. I don't know. I don't agree. I think our sidewalks need to get done. And whatever it takes to get them done, the amount of people that I've seen trip and fall on our sidewalks is horrible well oh, no, it's and very bad. whatever well, it takes we, it well, needs to get this, done this is a way to start that process and, and another thing we could do is go carefully through the will and see if there's any stipulations about only using the the income or whether we could go no I, I i i looked, at, I looked at it i looked at it today i don't think it's limited to using it only income okay so we could use it all so what i'm wondering is how much will a tenth do and is that does that is there maybe a more of an initial investment that needs to happen in order for it to get to a sensible point, or especially since the roads are being redone at this you want to juncture? Do as much as you can in the next two years. When right. The being so I'm wondering if you can, if you can bite it down to a tenth, a tenth, a tenth, or if you need sort of more at this point, at this juncture. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. 
So what if we took the whole, because we have the whole amount? I don't, I don't agree with the whole amount, but I would say 50% might not be such a big deal. That's my opinion, I'm, that's how I feel. I think I would want to know what the cost would be to really do uh, have an impact at this. What makes sense at this juncture? Yeah, because I the roads are very. I don't think eighteen thousand would have much of an impact. So no, but it's going to be added to the fifty thousand that the select board is going to. Be. No, I know, but thirty thousand would be the more of an impact. Yes, yes, certainly. How much does it cost, and what is the plan? Is it to start with the yeah. curbs on Route Four and Elm Street, and then move to the other streets like River Street and... Well, I Bush. think that um, this fund could only be used for sidewalks. It does not say curbs. So um, I think that the, any money you give has to be, go to sidewalks. Okay. But the plan is to, um, to do for the select board money perhaps to be used for the curbs first because the last thing you want to do once you've repaved the road is dig it up. Or make any I, cuts in it. Um, <coughs> when are the curbs, what time of year are the curbs being renovated? There's no plan for it yet. There's no plan for it yet. I hope you're taking into account the seasonality of the, of the roads and the busy times of year, as well as the weather, of course. Well, the contractor. Well, you have, you have to balance that with people's requirements for having the road resurfaced. And when the state authorities will Something's do it. Something's got to give. Well, no, you said you were going to do that before the roads resurfaced. I'm not the highway manager. I'm not actually going to do it. I'm just trying to provide right. him with the money to be able to do it. I, I know, but you'll be, but you'll be advising them. I'm just suggesting that that be taken into account. It's always important to take into account. If you leave it to a contractor, they'll say, sure, let's do it July 15th. So <laughs> one, of the reasons for, one of the, the thoughts that we had about doing a tenth of the sidewalks each year is that you t don't do a major job, but you just have somebody who comes in every year and does a little bit every year. So, you know what, I, I'm going to suggest that, like I hear this, the rest of the board, that we support using some undetermined amount of funds towards this. We should find out more about what specific plan there is. Which and will become clearer in the next couple of months. December. Yeah, exactly. Cut and then come back to us and we'll commit the, the number of dollars. Well, I'm sure we will. I can ahead. support that. Do you need it for fiscal year 20? 21 or we need an ASAP because this it, depends how it does not even actually have to be in our budget because it's, it's coming, coming from an it's budget. coming out of an right. existing fund, and the fund so we the don't have to decide for budget purposes now we and, can and just actually you don't even have to decide the money and um, Chris has the authority to do it he's not asking for your authority well he's asking I'd for like support. to I'd like everyone to be on board and then I'll write yeah. a check <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think you do need to run it by some people before you take any money out of those funds, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's great. I think it's good, and it would be a good use of that, obviously. So let's come, come back to us when the plan is a little more concrete, and we'll commit the exact dollars that you think you should write the check for. Or we'll I mean, get tell you what the amount that we support, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I think an argument could be made for just float, floating a big bond and doing it all at once, no? Argument can be made. <laughs> there, so there's, a lot, there's a lot of other things that are talking about big bonds oh, yeah? in this town okay. right now. All right. I, I'll retract that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. you do a mega Thank bond. you very much for bringing this to okay, our attention. Good. Glad we could be of help. It's always fun to find money, isn't it? Thank you yeah. for looking into that. <laughs> All right. So the financial report. Uh, Frank's not here. Um, I did question him about some aspects of this fund, which he so it looks a little, uh, of this report rather, it looks a little different than what we're used to. Mm -hmm. um, but it's more detailed. Yes, there's mm -hmm. more detail, and yet the details are missing to explain the additions that are here that we don't normally see. I mean, what's, what's miscellaneous $46,900? I mean, there's not much here. Under to which? Under revenue. Oh, they're there now. Well, you show, show me where it is. Uh, uh, miscellaneous, it's under? Under, under revenue. Right. So that includes uh, 11,000, well that includes state aid to highway. Okay, just so that you all know what that's about. I've just picked out some things that I thought were obvious, like what is that? So that's, that's within that figure, just so that you okay. folks would know. Um, there's um, other things like police communications at the bottom of your page. 64,730 of that is dispatch services, um, which haven't been paid out yet. 
The it, 3, that, 000, was, that was fixed today. That was fixed today. Okay. Mm -hmm. The, the 3684 that's already been paid out, that's for uh, communications. No, it's for um, partly, uh, well, I can't read the writing here, but anyway, that, that was something that was obvious that had to be taken into account. That's not obvious in what you folks have. What was the grant revenue and total revenue that we didn't budget for, but we got 100% of a 10? How do you get 100% of something you didn't budget for? Which one? Where are we? In the, the we don't Because you didn't budget for it. <laughs> you don't budget for grants. So how do you know you got 100% of it? Well, you when you, you get a grant, it. you get 100% of the grant money like that you that you got. It's not like you get partial, like we got 75%. Like, so that grant has to do with So Robbie, one grant. And so it has to do with his passive grants. Most grants are reimbursable grants. So in other words, they don't give you a bucket of money anymore. They make you spend your money first, and then they re once you meet the metrics that are within the grant, then they give you your money. They give you the grant money. So that's, so, but it posts as a revenue, but it's in the end it all comes it, out it, 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 it's a it's a balance it's it is correct it comes out thank you it's a war is that just for general expenses or what is that it's just for uh, grants in general most are and some and some grants are 50 percent reimbursable and some are 100 percent reimbursable it just depends on the on the type of grant and that goes for not only public safety grants but highway grants too i'm sure so we have a 20 percent match for most highway grants now you'll notice town police services. Um, this shows only uh, 28.73, basically 29% of the budget through five months. This is through November. But so does that mean the town's not using police services as much as usual? No, it doesn't mean that because it's um, it's behind. Um, the accounting is behind on that. It's at least a month behind. They uh, do it at the end of the month. So it's done at the end of the month versus the first of the month. That's right, so, so that percentage would be higher than what it would looks like on this report. Just to point that out. The other things that, just to answer some potential questions uh, from other trustees, the grants in the general fund that we budgeted, the $10,000, just to remind you, 5000 of that is for uh, seasonal decoration. And 5,000 of it is, uh, goes to the tree fund. Where is like that? Like for the tree warden. Yeah. Where yes. is that? Right here, up here. That's for actual See trees. the $10,000? Mm -hmm. right. So 5,000 goes to the tree trees. Pay for trees. And yeah. Yes, and 5,000 of it goes uh, for. Um, Where's the money we allocated to Tigo's Landing? Uh, the money for Tigo's land, Landing, which was $5,000. Mm -hmm is not on here, mm -hmm. nor could Frank account for that. And okay. he said he's going to look into it. Great. <laughs> that, 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 that figure has escalated in terms of what the EDC is considering, way beyond what the original figure was, but they're considering $80,000. I don't, I don't even know if they need our 5,000 anymore, but we did, we did vote for that, and we'll, we'll find out where that stands. But it's not here. It is not shown here or anywhere I can find. No. Any other questions about the financial report? Sorry to leave you at home in the mystery because you can't see all these numbers. It's thrilling. All right, moving along. Um, old business. Um, uh, I see nothing's on the agenda itself. So let's move to new business. And our Woodstock, our future, the Woodstock community vision. Hmm. Who is speaking to that? I'm doing the next one, so you can do this one. <laughs> okay. um, I can speak to that. <coughs> I'm on the steering committee. Um, so this is the vision statement that has been um, created as a result of many surveys and collection of uh, community opinion and um, input over the last, what, six months, seven? Eight, nine. Eight, oh, eight, eight months. So, so quite a lot uh, was uh, collected um, in order to 
get this document um, to a point where we feel like it is a representation of what our uh, community would like to see um, for the future. We, they, uh, they believe it's a representation, we believe it's a representation of um, what the community really values um, and wants to see continuing and growing stronger within the community and what we and er also areas that need um, some work and some attention. Um, but we believe that it is a good guide and if we s and by you know passing a resolution and supporting it, which I, I passed on a resolution to you, Beth, did you get that? I can pull it up on my phone, but um, by Supporting this document, um, we can utilize it, I think, in new ways. One of the ways that I would like to utilize it is putting it in front of our town manager and saying this is something that the community wants. This is sort of a guide. Um, it's been suggested that it be used as a, as a way of making decisions um, because it can be sort of a framework for, you know, is this money, is money being spent or is this action that we're taking um, aligned with what the community would like, what kind of boxes, excuse me, does it tick off? Um, and, and if it doesn't, how can, it, how can this money or this uh, action be taken a little differently so that it does support this vision a little bit better? I think um, we've gone through many visioning uh, processes as a community in the past, and I think uh, the more that we put support around it and activate this document, the better, um, and the more action that gets put towards it. So that's my spiel. Well, it's, it's a lovely document. I don't see how we could not support I agree. the principles that are, that are here. Yeah. I do have a question. Sure. Uh, I'm just and, pulling up the resolution. I'm not. Yeah, I haven't seen the resolution. And I really uh, applaud all of the people who worked on this um, and, and got all the uh, input from the town over this past year um, in ter concerning community vision. I have, a cons I have a concern, having attended the EDC meeting the other night, that there was a request for $42,000 for a part-time person to uh, facilitate public meetings, mm -hmm. transparency, I heard a number of terms, um, and one of the things that's uh, part of this vision is that we have a culture of leadership and volunteerism. And I would just suggest that this vision should be supported, I like the way you phrased it, uh, by our, um, our uh, municipal manager. Mm -hmm. And that it should be held in front of the community in many ways. But I, I, I would not support spending $42,000 on someone um, in a vague, a somewhat vague amount. I, I just wanted to throw that out there okay, based on what I heard. I'm going to rip off that a little bit because it, it is not 42000 for a person. It's 42000 for a lot of different things. So that does include a coordinated position, but it also includes upgrading some of our technology so that we can do this. It also includes some tr board training and other opportunities, uh, small projects for ways that the community can be more inclusive and try to um, connect better. So, so that forty-two thousand is not to just pay for a person. How it is for a program for, in general. How much of it was for? Um, about half of it. About half of it. Yeah. I mean, I, I just think that's a bad idea. Well, I think we're spending a lot. But let me just finish, <laughs> Sally. Thank you. We, we, you know, th this is such a great idea to have our. Uh, the municipal manager and the boards and um, any nonprofits who are involved in community <coughs> serve as a guideline mm -hmm. and and so forth but I just don't think we need another part-time person to spend money on to have this create this vision as opposed to the volunteers and the people who are on our boards and our committees and um, our, our various organizations just I feel strongly about that. Who's the tentative person? Okay. So, there is no tentative person. This is just, right now, the EDC asked for preliminary applications for grants that will be due in January. We put this in from the steering committee of the EDC, of, of the visioning committee, to the EDC to just get the conversation going. We had an action forum last night with 50 people at it. 
community members that came out in that really lousy weather last night and we talked about this particular project and there was a lot of support for the idea of what we are calling civic infrastructure. So that is a way to engage the community and to make sure that people know what's happening at the municipal level and they can participate in it. Right now we do have part-time. I'm very part-time with EDC now. Um, so there is some opportunity there. One of the things in the grant application was to explore ways to try to bring some of these part-time positions in under one umbrella. So we have one person who can really help with this coordination. Uh, we talked a lot last night about volunteerism and how it's very difficult right now for a lot of our community organizations to find volunteers. We're an aging population. We have the same core of people that are doing all the work. So it's, it's bigger than just this sort of idea of a community coordinator, um, just a title. It's going to dig into what are some of the issues in our community and how can we address them. It can be from anything to how a board interacts with the public during a meeting. It can deal with any potential issues. We've had a couple of um, public meetings that have had some um, difficult times in them. And so this is a way that we can have more community conversation and engage more people in what is happening in our community and make an effort to bring it all together. I, I, can't, I, I mean, I, I'm, I, like if he said, I, I, I like what's being said there, but I also can't afford uh, 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 support more money being spent let people look look at all the open chairs we want to talk about how we engage with our community where are those people and we definitely have an TV. older popular no they're not they don't even know what channel it's on um right so no but the, but, but the fact okay so some people watching hi guys so like the two of you um, so, but n <laughs> nobody comes to these meetings. Nobody gets engaged. That's so, what is so paying that's somebody? The point. So that's the, the point. So well, you, but so we you, tell people to get engaged all so the time. So last night, if you had shown up to that, there was people engaged. So there. I couldn't. Wife was at a school board meeting. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not saying that. As in, you should have <laughs> been that's there. A, that's a terror. So what I'm saying is that that was because we hired a, an organization to do this visioning process. So it's 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 ongoing work that needs to be done to engage the community to get input in. It's a place that is outside of this sort of venue that's going to the people that creates a more creative way to engage and get people involved and have projects come out of it. It takes it takes a certain amount of work and it, and it doesn't just happen magically. It happens when there's a dedicated individual who's in charge of looking after it and, and coordinating all of the um, all of the initiatives that are happening in town and none of them are talking to one another when when if you had a person that knew what was going on and and how to connect the dots um, th more things could potentially happen right, but look at our responsibilities and the committees that we get involved in right and exactly we get, and we, we're, we're, I don't I'm even care out. if I get the money at the end of the year or not it doesn't matter to me it doesn't change yeah, my life right. but you know it's 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 valuable work um, it would most definitely contribute to um, to to the future of our community this particular vision what people want and and it's and it's important I think the, the vision is important and uh, so whether, especially whether if you were to put this vision money for uh, someone uh, to, to to bring more people into this meeting no, I think the problem is that people, the, the I hear this complaint all the time, there isn't enough transparency, I don't understand what's going on, these things happen all of a sudden, um, how is our government structured, how does the planning commission fit in with the Well, that's orders? what the newspaper's for, that's what the TV is for, that's transparency. That's what this room that's is what this for, room Nobody shows up. I, you know, I, I don't think <laughs> that a person, hiring a person, can create transparency when the transparency is already there, but in my opinion. It's not. I can tell you. I mean, we've well, heard this from people throughout the year all the time who come in and say, I read something on the agenda. I had no idea what that meant. Yeah, but that's because they either didn't read the paper, they didn't but, watch but on TV, or they Jeffrey, didn't come to a meeting. Jeffrey, we put this out to the public on the listserv. So we the don't, money's coming from the EDC. We don't include the, the, all of the Whatever. information. 
So I mean, no, let it come okay. in. It's not coming Anyhow, from the town budget. Anyway, 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 listen, budget. Listen, anyway I'm just, just saying that. So I just want to, I just want to like button this up stuff. by saying um, we're at a critical point in our community. We uh, have a lot going on. We have a lot of people who would like to see change. We have some people that need help um, moving towards change. We have a new town manager coming online in in the new year. Um, so it's a time when I think that a vision like this could be very useful. Uh, it could align a lot of us towards uh, a common goal. And however, um, whether we decide to hire somebody or not, there's an individual there. I think this document needs to our support. Um, I think the vision process and uh, any goals that come out of that need our support. Um, so I would like to pass a resolution formally supporting this as the tr village trustees. I'll support that. Well, I support okay, this you. vision itself. So would you like to make a motion of support? I make um, a motion of support. <clears throat> Second. Um, any further discussion on supporting the vision as presented to us? If not, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Do you we want me to state the resolution? The Do you want me to state a resolution? Well, what we approved was what we've seen. I just looked at the email you sent me. You sent me two copies of the this thing instead of a resolution. I got. I think it was in the body of the email, but I can read. What we it. have is this. <coughs> okay. And we just supported this. Um, Great. The resolution probably refers to this. It refers to this, yes. It's just it's just formal wording, but it's fine. I think it, I think that works. That okay. motion. Works. Thank you guys for what you did with this. I'm sure it was a ton of work. Um, we'll give you the here. Comment. Take it. <laughs> I just like that. Yes. Um, Mary. The board has not adopted a resolution. <coughs> no, what we adopted the is the board is a support, supporting support that. of the vision as described on this document. Okay. That's what right. we just supported. Is that, is that technically a resolution? I mean, no. No. Um, it's language, no, but it didn't come as um, someone else said. We got two copies of that. Both documents was that page. But, uh, submit the resolution next month. I'd be happy to read it and then yeah. support the resolution itself. I just, just didn't it. know if I could, should, I have it right in front of me, so could I say it out can loud read and it? then it becomes a resolution? I, I don't or do think, people need is to that a problem? Yeah, why don't you I just, don't know. Just, next month. just bring it next it's month. Fine. Just next bring it next month, month okay. in a, in a, in a, a form that I just didn't know. If We've been able to see. Great. All right, let's move on. Thank you, Anna. And thank, you, thank you for your work on, on the vision. This is, this, thank this you is for a your lovely support. Time. <laughs> <laughs> River, Loop, River Loop update. <laughs> Sally Miller is presenting. Uh, so I'm, I'm replaced. Tom Weschler has actually been the, the leader of this group. So this is a an EDC project. It comes out of the Recreation Committee of the EDC. And um, back in 2000, well, the be actually at the end of 2018, we received a municipal planning grant, which the EDC provided matching funds for, to update the 2000 Riverwalk study, which was done by Bob White. Um, and he was actually part of the team that was hired to do the update. And so the reason why we're coming to you now is we actually have a trail map that's been worked out. Um, we've been working with Jensen Associates and also with Upper Valley Trails Alliance to get this together. And we're at the point where we have um, go ahead from the principal landowner, which is the Woodstock Corporation, has said that they're willing to see this trail move forward. So we are contacting um, the other, uh, all the abutters and the other landowners that are affected by this. But if um, you look at the map, which I think was included, Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Essentially, all of it from beyond the sewer plant is on resort property. Yeah, so from, from the East End Park to the sewer treatment plant is, is owned by um, JBW, um, Sunset Farms, and the town of Woodstock. So those are the only other three landowners involved in this, in this uh, project. So, so the land, let me just ask you a question. Yep. The, the East End land is owned by the village. Of yep, yep, yep. So when you say that's the town of Woodstock, uh, my, they, I'm not including the East End Park in the discussion. Right. So that land is definitely town land, not village land. 
The town land is the sewer treatment plant. That yeah, it goes oh, the sewer treatment plant. Yeah, 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 absolutely. yeah. yeah. So, so the, the trail goes from the East End Park. It doesn't actually go into the East End Park. It actually starts on the resort corporation property. And that's that's the adjacent. That's Yep. Uh, yep. 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 Okay, here's, here's <laughs> the, uh, okay. the little purple I area. No was oh, okay. No, no, I get it now. Um, the little, little Jeff, purple bro. area that's called East End Park <laughs> Connector is actually on Resort Corporation property as well. Right. And then, and then, and it, then goes it goes across. down. So let's say 50,000. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. The maintenance. I mean, except for garbage. I could look it up. I could look it up. Really well, it's it's annual maintenance too of going through and making sure that if the trail gets it's because it's a mowed trail. It will need to get mowed occasionally during the summer, um, and then there's trail maintenance because it's right on the river. The more people walk on it, the less you'll need to well, maintain it because it, it'll stay down. Yeah, it, it the the Upper Valley Trail Alliance is really good at sort of figuring out what kind of path we need and where to locate it. So, but there will be some co ongoing costs, and of there's course. a discussion about how to how to structure that funding. But they really, at this point, the group really wants to get it going, get it out there, get people using it, um, and. Uh, we still don't have all the permits in place. We're not exactly sure because it is such a low impact trail. We're hoping that there's not anything significant out there. Aren't these just areas where they spray manure? No, that's, that's done. They oh, they didn't do that anymore. That, and that was that was actually another concern that we had. Yeah. But they are now. Um, I mean, we have to dewater it or something, yeah. but we've had to change the whole method yeah. and it's costing us a lot of money. It's not, it's not being spread on the fields anymore. Will you be able to walk dogs there? I, we haven't addressed that issue one way or the other, but I can't imagine you wouldn't. Because so then we'll need like dog bags, bags, dog bags and, and, we'll and need yeah. garbages for those yep. bags. Yep. And yep. now yes. why I said it, because now it'll tie into what maintenance will be later on. Right, right, right. Of what it's going to cost to keep yep. this running. Yeah. I I am actually surprised. I thought it was going the other direction somehow. I thought it was so did I. further <laughs> into town. Uh, well, um, that was actually the original Riverwalk plan came from the Elm Street Bridge all the way along yeah, the river. Yeah, right. Um, obviously, that's changed because there is yeah. different ownership of the parcels. One of the parcels that was um, owned by the Resort Corporation is no longer, uh, so that's privately owned. <coughs> Um, there may in the future be some yeah. route back into town. We haven't we haven't brought that up in this one. This is really a recreational trail. And it's for the the, the impetus was for the um, the Saturday run. Park run, yeah, park yeah, run. yeah, yeah. Originally, so we, Which we is really, really tried. Well it's very well attended. It's yeah. going great at the national park, except now that it's gotten icy, it's a little more difficult. But we really tried hard to make sure that we had a, a 5K in there so that we could we could do park run there if we decide to change the venue. Well, thank you so much for yeah, this it's update. Yeah, it's great. It's a good. I've, I have walked it um, uh, several times now, you know, as we've tried to figure out nice? where it goes. And it's, it is going to be a really nice trail. Nice. Yeah. So. Thank you, Sarah. Sure thing. Okay. Um, other business. Um, I had none other than we discussed that Anna is forming a parking committee. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, by next month, mm -hmm. we'll hear about Sorry the committee. About yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh huh. And uh, uh, anybody else have any other business to brought up tonight before we move on to approval of minutes? I've heard from a couple of people that the trash cans in mm -hmm. Faulkner Park have gone missing. Is that still the case? Does anyone know if they, they removed? I did hear about that, that there was dog bags, poop bags piled up Around in a them. huge mound of where the Pale should be. That would be a question for the, because I, I believe that they move some of the, they take some of the bins away in the winter time. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So I don't know if they've that taken them away. Should have been taken away. I think they're always taken away. Okay. They're all like <laughs> can, can I bring up another subject? If you find it together. Shall we finish that one? Robbie, can you find the trash can and put that one? <laughs> <laughs> that's not Robbie's. That's not one of his jobs. Can you tell someone it's to do it? It's the highway department. It's the highway department. If we all put in ten bucks tonight, uh, we could we buy could, a new trash can. Could, well, could we? Uh, could we ask Frank to look into that, Beth? Yep. Please. Yeah. And after you. Wassel, after Saturday, some more will disappear, and they're put away for the winter, and brought out again in the spring and some of the situation is that they freeze into the ground and they break and 
Well, it's just that it so seems really odd for us to have poop bags there because people, without people will not the walk all the way can. down to the cemetery. <laughs> yeah, they won't. <laughs> You're right. No. So, so let's have Frank look into to having one back there for that purpose. Thank you, Beth. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, Jill, what were you Now, Jill, say? you had something else. Oh, yes. Um, so I watched the men putting up the green plastic thing on the green yesterday and putting the wassail sign there. I thought that the intention was that once we put the lamppost up, We'll use the lampers to tie things to that and do away with the plastic our, things. That was our intention. Okay, so it's not happening, so we just need to make it happen. So that's something, again, could you pass that on to Frank, who may not have been, been aware that that's how we are <coughs> meant to proceed? I'm calling him in that piece here in January. It's my turn to take my off. So this is only <laughs> the second thing we're asking you to ask him <laughs> about. <laughs> that he, if we would please tell the crew that signs are meant to be strung between the lampposts and not separate plastic mm -hmm. structures put up. Thank you. Yes. You're absolutely right. So thank you for bringing that up. Yes. And since we're, we're complaining, um, I, have, I have talked to Frank a couple times about the streetlights right out here. We're missing two streetlights right out in front of the town hall. It is really dark out there. And I use the, I cross from this side to the Episcopal Church um, for a class. Uh, at night, and it is dangerous. You're talking about a missing right. uh, street lights that are not not they're placed, are not are on, and it's not, it's not deliberate. No, it's not the street deliberate. Street lights are there, they're not on. They're not yes. on. The light, the lights oh. are out. The lights so are out. They've been out for about a month or oh, six weeks, maybe. And has Green Mountain Power been? And, but I've been wondering, and this is not for the village trustees because it's outside of the village as well. It appears that they have. Um, either turned off or neglected to replace a lot of street lights. Where I notice it a lot is in the area of the White Cottage to the village from that section. There are several lights that are there and they're not lit. There's one at Tribo Park that's been out since probably mid June that's right in the middle of the uh, Central Street side that it's not, has oh, not been replaced. Okay. So this is number three. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Frank. <laughs> number three. And I just never think of that. In the village, and also a select person has brought to our attention in the town the problem is this as well. Does so. Green Mountain Power do that? Yes. Is that why yes. they do that? Yes. Okay. Yes. They have, they have to do it. They have to do it. We can't do it. Uh, some of that that's a federal highway, isn't it? I believe the ones just outside here are the the town highway, and I think they're really? having issues getting replacement parts for them or bulbs. There's an issue with those out there. I got these lights for outside of my house, so you just plug in. They're old. Wait, we could replace it. I, I, I can't believe that. It's not Can GMP. we use some of those funds for the sidewalks? <laughs> no, 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 but there's a civic betterment of the fund. Fabulous. All right, well, they, we need to have that addressed, and if he could report back to us if there's a problem. What if we get some Christmas lights and put them around the big pillars, like yeah. like a candy cane? <laughs> that would help, just some big LEDs right around, around there, look at spun them around there. That would shine all the way. <laughs> put a big snowman out there. I'm sure it's historic. <laughs> Little snowman. <laughs> okay. 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 So there's three things we're asking the our, our manager to look into. Any other business to be brought up? If not, uh, I think we'll move on to approval of minutes. Uh, starting with uh, November 12th. Obviously, Jeff. Public informational meeting. No. There's nothing happening. No. Okay. No. Um, anyone have any corrections? Yeah. Truth be told, I didn't read it. Okay. You haven't read it? I uh, never had a chance. Okay. I had no corrections on this one. Anyone else? Nope. All those in favor of approving the minutes of November 12th, the uh, uh, public informational meeting? 
Aye. Okay. Uh, that's actually, uh, that was following the public information meeting. This is the trustees meeting on November 12th. Um, there's another one that was November 12th on short-term rentals. That's the public information one. Um, any corrections on that? You know, it's so hard to find corrections from Ms. Fish. It's very frustrating. I've read all of these. Is that with the aid of Ms. Riley? That is with the aid of Ms. Riley. With the aid and of she deserves the credit. Yes. Well, you both, uh, okay, well, so I happen to find one. Gee. Line 53. Of which one? November 12th, public information meeting on short-term rental solid ordinance. Line 53, Ms. Clarkson, a member of the Senate Economic Development Committee. Get rid of the of. Member of the Senate of. I did. I'll, I'll eliminate of. Thank you. I didn't find any others on that one. No, you need that of. What are you talking about? Miss Clarkson, a member of the e Senate of. Senate of? Yeah, Senate yes. of Economic the Development. Of Senate Committee. Of she's a member of the Senate, Senate of Economic Senate. Development. She's a member of the Senate. The Senate? And she's on the Economic. The, the Senate she's is of the of the She's a member of the Senate Economic Development Committee. No? Okay, the second okay. half. Okay, okay. Gotcha. They don't have that online, you know. Um, all right, all those in favor of uh, approving those minutes? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's those carry. And then the final set, which is <coughs> the final set. November. Where's the third set? Who's got the third set? Here. That's, oh yeah, the 22nd. Um, I had no corrections to that one. That's the special joint meeting with the select board. Uh, November 22nd, any other corrections anyone else found? All those in pro uh, make a motion, please. Aye. Motion. Motion to <laughs> approve so the minutes. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 And who seconded that? Me, Carrie Egan. Thank I, you. I, I second. Oh, boy. All right. So I'd entertain a motion to adjourn <laughs> pending a pen. There's a joint meeting next Tuesday, the 17th. The 17th, yes. At what time? Um, five. 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 I think it was 515 that was decided. Actually, 515 is the best I can do. That maybe that's why it's 515. Oh, the, I can't. Ed. So the auditors will be here at five for the joint meeting. So I don't think I can be there. So we can say 515. The auditors will be here to review your draft audits. Okay. Well, I think we agreed on 515. So. Well, do we all need to be here to hear that? We, yeah, we yes, we do. Yeah. We do need to be here. Uh, we may need to be here for more, for more than one reason, too. Yeah, I was going to say that wasn't why we made a joint meeting. Depending on the what happens on the evening of the twelfth. That's why I asked. The joint meeting. Then I'll then I'll do the other one. Several months ago, when we planned that there would be, we had already had the joint meeting of the trustees meeting back in September, and it was. There was an agreement, I think, some time ago that there would be quarterly joint Two meetings. meetings yeah. And this is We've had seven. so many joint meetings that every time there's one that comes up, I think everybody says, oh, it's because we decided to do joint no, meetings. No, no, actually, don't forget, besides the meeting of the 12th, Thursday, Thursday night, this night. week, we may have unfinished business that we need to take up together with the select board on the 17th. Which time is that? That was, uh, that's what I thought it was for, was that cushion. Oh, no. That was like yeah, a fallback. There was a quarterly meetings, I believe. And that was that. They were, well, yes. And one was in September, and this one is in And it just one. happens to be when our audits are ready to be looked at? Um, we knew that you had a joint meeting scheduled quarterly, and it alternates between the select board and the trustees. So it was during the trustees meeting last time in September. So this time it's before the select board meeting. We knew you had that meeting and the auditors are ready to present so that we can get that all settled. So it will help with out. budgeting purposes too once it's all, all done. Together. Got it. Okay. Don't, yeah, but don't forget that we're also meeting this Thursday evening. Um, seven o'clock. We should eat food for that. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's an intense month. 
I'd entertain yeah, a motion to like adjourn pending party. approval of warrants. I make a motion warrants. to adjourn pending review of expense warrants. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank yeah. you.